good day to our faithful following of three. Yeah, I think that your numbers are growing. Hundred. I think there might be half a dozen out there that are watching this. Yeah. <laughs> But which, we appreciate which is it more than the beginning. I know we're yeah. gonna force our staff to start watching this. Yep, it will be it will be obligatory it's very educational. There will be tests on it, and uh, and yeah, we're, we're we're gonna be doing a contest next video. So yeah. stay tuned for our contest. <clears throat> yeah, we're thinking it may be as good as getting a free pair of shoes. There's a lot of new stuff out there. And Which is pretty much as good We've been getting some love, so we might be giving some love out there, too. So. Yeah. Um, shoes is pretty much as good as it gets unless we can give away a GPS watch. Maybe yeah. we'll get to the point where we'll be so popular that Garmin will say, here's a GPS watch to give away. I don't think Garmin's ever given us anything for free. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, who knows? Maybe. Cool. Maybe we'll like give away. A, you can have a pro deal on a Garmin. Yeah, oh, yeah. we'll pro deal it for you. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, then Garmin's watching, and they'll cancel our pro deal. <laughs> <laughs> so Garmin, all pro don't deals. tell anyone. Don't tell Garmin about this. Okay. I'm gonna grab my shoes. okay well, we've got we've got some new product that just came in. We kind of been talking about this after the outdoor retailer. This is the new Reebok Nano that we were really impressed with. We got the men's and women's. We got a couple different colors, a little bit more CrossFit oriented, but you can kind of see very, I'm gonna call it ultra esque in that toe box, very foot shaped. <clears throat> Get the three dimensions, but. The slide on fill is really, really good. Yep. Uh, very, like I said, I, I just think they having a toe box like that is a, such a smart idea. They have kind of a reinforced middle area. Uh, Alex has this rubber thing. I guess rope climbs are big in CrossFit, yep. and so it's reinforced there so it's not going to get shredded. Yep. Uh, kind of stiff, but remember, this is more weightlifting, box jumping. Uh -huh. Kind of what a lot of people, if you're looking for a workout shoe, yep. um, really, are looking for. really good uh, cross training shoe. Oh yeah, cross like uh, going to the gym, getting on the elliptical, going over and lifting weights, doing a couple miles of running. Uh -huh. Like this is going to be one of the sturdiest shoes out there. Running shoes kind of have a reputation for breaking down uh -huh. a little bit easier. The foam's softer. There's no, it's not really good for lateral movement. And I don't know. Yeah, necessarily that, how good these are for lateral It looks like it's, but I bet it's going to be better. I think it'll be a lot better. Yeah. Well, and it's um, low to the ground, so it's pretty stable. It's a four yeah, millimeter four drop. Four millimeter drop. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it kind of reminds me, frankly, of kind of a beefed up uh, Merrill. Like a beefed yeah. up trail glove or a beefed up road glove. True. Um, Which also has some updates. That kind of leads to the next thing. Speaking of. We just got these in, too. And we'll talk a little bit more next week about the, the rest of the updated line. But here's the Road Glove 2, and it's funny you chose. I got the exact same style. So oh, yeah. It's nice. definitely the coolest looking one. Yeah. I wonder if this is, is this the one we brought in. Sure. I hope so. It looks pretty cool. But the old Road Glove looked very, very minimal. It almost looked like just a road trail glove. Yeah. If that makes any sense. So the trail glove is a shoe. There's a road glove. Trail glove was pretty much one of the, if you, when Five Fingers became popular, it was one of the first, like, barefooting shoes that wasn't five-toed. Yep. And the trail kind glove... Of a, kind of an aggressive, more of an aggressive um, tread, whereas the road glove is just... Yeah, but it was better. also, like, super minimal. Yep. Uh, where this, it actually looks a little bit more what I would have expected out of a road glove. Yep. It has just a little more cushion, looks a, a lot more sturdy than that initial line. Yep. Um, it looks kind of like a mix between the old road glove and bare access. Yeah. It's kind of a middle ground there. Yeah. I've run, so the reason why we're, particularly why we're highlighting this and the next uh, three shoes is because um, I got a, a few pairs of shoes last week and I've done a good amount of running in all of them. This I did my 11 mile long run in on Saturday and it's decent. The arch feels interesting and I guess the arch in every shoe actually feels kind of interesting <laughs> to me for the most part. Um, but the arch feels a little bit more prominent in this huh. shoe than in some of the other ones I've tried. 
Yeah. And from there, we'll go on to Adidas. This is a shoe that I did 10 miles in last week. And out of all of the shoes that I'm going to show you, this is probably the one that I like the most. It's probably the most minimal of yeah. it. It feels like a racing flat. Uh -huh. That's what it feels like. But um, but it, with, with good form, good foot strike, I feel like uh, it did a good job. We'll be getting these in yeah. in the next few months. So Adidas is their direction. This is part of the Adapir line. The first Adapir was actually that five-toed thing that it they looked, did. It looked almost identical to the five uh -huh. That It wasn't really super successful, to yeah. be honest. But this new idea, they have three different shoes, and each shoe has a different drop. Um, I think it goes to like nine six three. Okay. Is it or is it six three zero? I think this is six. Is I that think this right? is six. Yes, it is six. Um, and so I'm this is the sure one we're gonna get. We didn't get it in right when it came out because Adidas tried to corner us and say you got to bring in all three, or else right. you can't get it. Yeah. And so they're kind of going back on that, which we're glad because honestly, I don't know, like. We're, we love these kind of shoes, but we're also very oversaturated in it. Yep. But the fact that you've been... Uh, I've had a pair of these for like a year, to be honest. The same pair? The Gazelle? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I've had that Achilles issue, so I haven't okay. really been able to, to, to use them. Yeah. So, but that was the one that kind of struck me as the most impressive, too. I really um, like it a lot. So we're excited to see that one come in, but soon. I think the, we've got the order in. It could be a week or two away. This one's kind of dirty. I ran in it this morning. I have a total of 20 miles in this guy. I did 10 miles last week, 10 miles this morning. It's the Mizuno Wave Evo Cursaurus. Cursaurus. Yeah, you can tell because uh, it's a little bit more cushioned. Yep. So it's got, uh, I, I can't remember what the what the height is on the, on the cushioning, I think but it's it is. Eight, okay. eight millimeters across. Yep. I think so it's a zero one drop. Four. Yeah. It's a zero drop Mizuno. The toe box is surprisingly wide, yeah. Um, which is awesome to see. Yeah, a I like the industry moving that way. Moving to wide Actually getting box. shoes that are foot-shaped. Yep. What a novel concept. It is <laughs> awesome. And then this is the more minimal version uh -huh. called the Wave Levitas, the Evo Levitas. And this is the men's color. It is purple. Yeah, We're taking it's purple a, it's back. A, it's a manly color. <laughs> um, I did nine miles in these last week. The, my only complaint was that this overlay right here, the seam, was kind of pushing down on the foot at first, mm -hmm. but after about a mile, it didn't give yeah. me any problems. It, there was no abrasion whatsoever. Just felt like there was a little bit of pressure on the top of the foot, but again, wide toe box, minimal feel. Um, feels like a, feels like a wave racing flat. Feels kind of like a glorified wave universe. Yeah, well, that's what four it feels like. millimeters of EVA underneath the foot. It's it's pretty light. Yeah. So. And it was more cushioned than I thought it was going to be as well. I was pl I was pleasantly surprised by all four of the options that I've tested, and especially by the Mizuno options, which felt okay trying them on, on in the store, run in them. but then yeah. running in them, I was like, wow, this feels mm -hmm. really good. That seemed to be the case with a couple, I don't know, with most minimal shoes, I think that's yep. the case. And you with know, Mizuno, the in general, is kind of the case, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Um, we've got some new... Yeah, Nutrition this is pretty product. exciting stuff for me. Goo's coming out with a new flavor of Chomps. This is lemon, which is pretty good. Uh, I like it. It, it, it does not really have like any it. caffeine, yep. but I like those. We'll have those in pretty soon. We don't have them in quite yet. Yeah, I but really like. I really like. We just got these in, and I have to say, like these have become my favorite. Maybe just because oh. it's new, but these are the Pro Bar Bolt Organic Energy Chews. Four flavors. I used to really like the Honey Stinger, but I would say that these ones are my new favorites. They just like taste like jam, almost, to they me. They probably it's like, are like three quarters jam. So you got your, I guess it's not blueberry, it's berry blast, raspberry, oh, strawberry, and then what's this last one? It's like orange. orange. Yeah, orange. Yeah. Really good stuff. And then they repackaged their old stuff, but this is a new one, part of their core recovery line, so protein. This is the cookie dough. Which I actually really like. Uh, I mean, I really like uh -huh. Power Bars um, protein uh -huh. bar. I think it tastes really good. Um, but this, when I was trying yeah. it at the at outdoor retailer, tasted really good. Yeah. It tasted really good. So if you like your Pro Bar stuff, it's usually organic, which means it doesn't have a huge shelf life. 
So come get it, buy it before it goes bad. It'll be a, we've got like a year, but <laughs> but it's good stuff. I don't know. I I swear at outdoor retailer. They had like three meals of just yeah. straight up that's, pro bar. We always go to pro bar <laughs> three times. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, I guess just on the horizon, uh, just some updates of what's coming out soon. We got the update to the Gel Light uh, 33. So the Gel Light 33 2 is going to be coming out next okay. month. We've got the Paragon. Peregrine 3, which was one oh. of our better selling trail shoes. trail shoes, so that's by Saucony. Mm -hmm. And then the Fast Twitch 6 is also coming out next oh, month, cool. which is pretty cool. And then we also got the new Minimus line coming out next month, which is going to be fun uh, to it's see. It's going to be really cool. So to see. all four of those shoes the 10s, the Roads and the Trails, and the Zeros, Roads and Trails. And then they also have the High Res. Yep, I was, was going to say, is, if you haven't heard about High Res, yeah, it's a new Google addition. It. It's to pretty the crazy. Line. Like, it's. It's. I'll just say it's crazy. You yeah. gotta Google that high res. Really I wonder if it would even come up, but really, well. really know. unique. Like we'll probably we'll have some in. We're, I don't know. They're kind of on the. They're a little spendier. They're a little yeah. bit more expensive, but they're really, really cool. Yeah, cool stuff. Um, so, so that's just coming out and soon. And for those of you who don't know, the New Balance Minimus is not a shoe. It is their line of shoes. I get so many yeah. people calling in. They're like, "Do you guys carry the New Balance Minimus?" Uh -huh. And it's like, "Well, which one?" And they're yeah. like, "Oh, oh the Minimus." The Minimus. <laughs> yeah, there's because then they even have a whole those, line of like, shoes. The 20s, which are the big box versions, yep. and yeah, so you got your zeros, your MRs, your WRs, your WTs, your MT for trail, yeah. R for running, MO, W for women, W O. Oh, uh, you all—you pretty much have to work in a running store to understand yeah. the new we'll balance teach, we'll teach system. We'll, we'll, it's pretty uh, complex, yep. but it's a, it's after a eight it's years, a labyrinth hopefully. of it's a labyrinth of perfection. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, so that's, I guess that's all the new stuff. Did we have anything else? Oh. Chomps, lemon, nano. Oh, Helios, Helios. Helios. So yeah, we also got a new yeah, trail shoe, yeah. which we'll highlight really cool, really quick, because it's pretty cool. Um, so if you're familiar with what the direction La Sportiva has been going, they came out with that quantum and electron, which has kind of morphodynamic. That's what they call the te technology. So essentially the concept was the, it, it still has a rock plate, but it's higher up. The, the midsole is just very, you know, dynamic in the sense that it would react to what you step on. And so very... It, the idea is you can like step on stuff, you're not gonna feel, it, and the shoe's not gonna like rotate around it. So it's still flexible, and yet there, it provides protection. So this one's four mils, four millimeter drop that is, and cool colors. Yep. And so far the response has been pretty, pretty positive. Yeah, and I have the. I got the La Sportiva Vertical K Yeah, last what's another year. cool shoe. That's their, it's on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it's got yep. the same kind of morphodynamic technology. It is technology. very similar to the Helios, uh -huh. only it's covered to about here, which is kind of nice running uh -huh. in the snow, especially. like. It also creates a narrower yep. fit, though. And so I haven't been able to wide lace it, and that's my only complaint. So uh -huh. the Helios... It looks like it's got a little bit better toe box. Yep, better well. toe box and the ability to wide lace it, and just bringing it out for customers to compare with, like... The uh, the sock the peregrine the, no well yeah the peregrine and uh, mixmaster Merrill mixmaster yeah. and all and MT ten ten the MT one ten and uh, the other sock the Kinvara Kinvara trail they're good yeah. it's good it's a good lightweight trail it's shoe. crazy in trail though like the majority of trail shoes out there are four millimeter drop yep. now it's crazy like oh, to find look at our trail wall yeah. and it's like over half of them are four millimeters. Cool stuff, though. No. Cool stuff. The industry is changing. So, no. uh, do we do we have a question, or should we just skip to racing? Yeah, let's skip to racing. Okay. Cool a lot stuff. Of stuff. So, a lot of racing this last week. Um, starting off with local stuff. Okay. There was Hell Freezes Over, which is a if you haven't done Hell Freezes Over, cool race. Because first of all, just by entering, you get a ticket to one of their shows. Okay. So. Right off the bat, I'd you get something. I they did that. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, so that's like cool. That. Good incentive. You're supporting, you know, the arts. So yep. if that makes you feel better, but you at least get a date night out of it or something. Yeah. Uh, then, but so they have a 5k and a 10k. Okay. Um, 
which the Sojourners pretty much just dominated this year. So Jump on Sojourners. the girls' side, Jen Hughes and Melody, they respectively took their 5K and 10K. Okay. Um, and then on the guy side, my brother Derek and Cody Bueller, they cool. took the Congratulations, 5Ks guys. and awesome. 10Ks and won season passes to... Oh. Yeah, so they get to go to... And I think Melody loves the race, so she goes like every single time. Derek won the Halloween one, whatever. What is that one? There's Hell Freezes Over. Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell. Yeah, Highway to Hell. Um, and so he's got like four tickets to every single one. <laughs> Melody, Which always anyway. makes me want to sing Highway to <laughs> Hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right, sure that's playing that. during the entire uh, <laughs> yeah. race. Uh, the same weekend, we had the Winter Series put on by, I think, Striders, Striders puts yeah. it on. Up they had their Lake. 10K. Okay. Um, and it goes from 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon. Okay. And Trevor Baker and Scott Keat. It was good to see Scott guys. out there. He took fifth and seventh. Cool. I know Scott's been kind of having a rough winter with some illness, yep. but good to see him back out that's awesome. and racing. Good job, guys. Then, high school race, this is pretty cool. Uh, like, this is way fast. Shay Martinez of Davis. She ran a 209 in the 800, which, that's a good collegiate time. Like we were saying, Kelsey Brown went ran that 204, and that was a 204 high, like a 204.9. Yeah. We're talking 209 high school. Wow. Fast, fast time. And this was at the Olympic uh, Oval? Olympic Oval, okay. which is... And it was their, like, their distance meet? Is that yeah, what it's called? Yeah, it's okay. cool. They only have... 400 and up okay. for it. That's sweet. So. That's sweet. And then Summer won the the mile in 511. Cool. So That's awesome. Good representation there. Summer. Good job. Um, then going on to pro stuff. This is just more cool. I found this because I always want to see it. I I can relate more to the longer races. Yep. You know, I can appreciate watching a, a 100 meter race or a 200, but I'm like, whatever, like 400 where it really starts. I've ran plenty of fours in my life, just some workouts. But Usain Bolt and Johan Blake ran 400s over the weekend. Given they had to put them in separate heats so they didn't go head to head. (laughs) And pull muscles. Yeah. (laughs) They never raced each other. But uh, 46 7, and I think Usain Bolt, that's what he ran. And I think. Johan Blake was a little bit faster, like a 46.5, wow. but he didn't even win. Where was this? Where was this? In Jamaica. Okay. Cool. But it's early season. They're yeah. just doing their strength training, yeah. you know, yeah. more of that base training concept. That's so they're cool. Doing it over That's distance, really cool. But yeah. A lot of people don't know this, but Usain Bolt used to be a 400-meter runner. Used to be a 400-meter runner. That's right. Yeah, like in high school, and then he kind of started moving down, and then all of a sudden he just, like, broke the world record in the 100 yeah. out of nowhere, and... Has been the star ever since, but and doesn't uh, doesn't Tyson Gay doesn't he have the world record for a straightaway three hundred meter? He might or something I've, like that. And I think they're asking I've seen him do Bolt that. if he was going to attempt that, yeah, and, and he was like, like ah, oh, whatever. But <laughs> yeah. No, that's it's that's like cool. pay me half a million dollars. And I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's his appearance yeah. fee. <laughs> so Usain Bolt. That's cool. I that want to see him cool. run the four. And there was some talk even before last Olympics that he might try a one two four oh, triple, yeah. which I would love to see that. That would be attempt. ridiculous. That would be. He's already kind of in going to go down in history as you know, one of the best sprinters yeah. of all time. But yeah. that would take it to a, another level. That, that would that would take greatness to yeah. epic. And I don't use the word epic very often mm-hmm. because I think it's overused. But that would be yeah. that would be epic. Yeah. Be really cool. It'd be awesome. Then the last thing, and I we'll probably do a contest for this. I don't know if we'll do indoor. We tried it indoor last year, but NCAAs. Mm-hmm. My friends and I we started fantasy, you know, kind of like fantasy football, but fantasy cross country. Mm-hmm. It's a lot easier for cross country, and it, I won't go into the depths what, how we did it in track, but essentially we kind of have a secret Facebook group where we. We create our own teams, and and we might do that as a contest. If anyone's oh. willing to, and if anyone wants to join and and try let to us take know. on let us master, know. let us know in the comments what you think about that idea, yeah. and if you're interested, and if we because I've got some friends who yeah. will definitely join in and do it, but but to a degree more the merrier, and especially if you are interested in track and field, yep. it makes it all that interesting. But if you can win, that might be tied into 
it. But if you're interested in fantasy, because indoors is coming up, that's within like a month, and we could do something with, yep, that'd with be that. Cool. And, but going back to why I brought this up, Kennedy Kathuka, and I brought the whole fantasy f- cross country in because he was my pick. I got where, first pick. Where did he you run, for? run for? Texas, Texas Tech, okay. I think. But I don't even know where he runs. No, but I picked him. Uh, he was the NCAA champion, um, okay. but already ran thirteen twenty six, opening wow. up s- the season in an indoor five k. Wow. So crazy stuff. Thirteen twenty six. Yeah, and he's a guy transferred from NEIA. Okay. And yeah, but but wow. yeah, cool. So that's that. Think about fantasy tr- indoor track. Fantasy outdoor track. My friends and I will probably do it anyways, but if anyone else is out there interested, we might have a contest associated with that. Let us know. Well, until next time, and come, hopefully, Beard Run is awesome. Yeah.